Hi there, this is Dominic aka Chaos Puzzler on Instagram and I always wanted to do a cool YouTube time-lapse video uh, with uh, me drawing and uh, here I am. Okay, uh, Inktober, Inktober, tomorrow is Inktober and um, last year I thought, oh, uh, World Watercolor Month, this would be cool to do a sketch each day and then came Inktober and I thought, oh, it would be cool to do a sketch each day on Inktober, but yeah, I didn't do it because, mainly because, <coughs> sorry, I was sketching daily, on a daily basis, but I did sketches, sketches or paintings that weren't finished in one day and yeah, it was, it was a bit too tough to complete this. Sketches or paintings, drawings like, uh, oops, reference is coming out, like this one, which is not finished yet, but uh, I do my best to finish it, maybe next, next or next month or in November. And yeah, and I also thought a sketch each day, what quality could this sketch have? It one sketch finished at a day on a daily basis this cannot be a very meaningful or 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 thoroughly thought out planned sketch just just a basic thing yeah but <clears throat> i tried to change my mindset about it and this year i did what watercolor month and just mainly because I wanted to get into urban sketching. And there you have a very limited time frame and when it's done, it's done. You can you can go home, maybe take a picture for reference, for further reference, and then do some slightly corrections or a bit add-ons, but that's it. It's finished. Maybe it's even not perfect, but it's finished. And that changed my mindset about it. And I went on vacation with a very limited palette and a limited set of of art supplies, and I <coughs> I did sketches like this one. This is also also done with ink, or like this one, and. Just a few more. Also like this one. And what I personally very like very very much is that one. These sketches were finished on location and maybe, maybe, maybe when I came home and looked at them I thought little, little, little bit more here and a little bit more there, or, or there was a, an unfinished, unfinished line I should close, or but nothing more. That's it. <clears throat> yeah. And after I came home, I just continued to finish one sketch a day. Sometimes I even did more sketches, and to do that, I sketched during my commute. I sketched people on the platform. Um, people waiting. Or I had also the sketchbook with me and when I came came uh, across a cool scenery, I just sketched it. This took me about 40 minutes and it was done. Also this one. Which I think is quite nice. And then I went on with the urban sketches. In uh, Basel we had a sketch crawl and I also made this nice sketch in also about 40 minutes and it was done. This was a quite a complex scene and and I, I knew I didn't have enough time to, to, to finish it in, 
in a in a manner it would satisfy me afterwards. And also the sketchbook was too tiny for this complex scene, but I was there, I had time, it was a sketch goal, and so I sketched. And and I was extremely satisfied with the outcome, despite all these limitations. And yeah. Now when it comes to Inktober, I thought it would probably be very cool to sketch one of my pens each day. And for that I have this Stalogy 365. I don't know if it's Stalogy, I think it's Stalogy or Stalogy, don't know. This uh, a sketchbook, and I use this only for very quick tryouts and uh, patterns and jotting down ideas, concepts. And um, the paper is nice. The paper is Tomoe River or similar, very similar to Tomoe River. I don't know whether it's it's real Tomoe River paper, but it's it comes very close. And you can also to uh, uh, washes. It holds up pretty well. It curls, but it holds up quite well. Hold up, hold, holds up quite well to the ink treatment. <coughs> and yeah. And without further ado, I'm going to, to sketch a portrait of one of my fountain pens each day in the sketchbook. And uh, with that one, I'm doing a timeless video. And yeah, for the first pen <coughs> to sketch, to do a portrait, I choose this one. This is a Bexley Prometheus. I'm German, I would say Prometheus. Prometheus, as in the Greek mythology. It's a very big, girthy pen. I like it a lot. It just fits my hand nicely. It has a standard Bock two-tone nib. It's nicely tuned. And it would be nice if this would be a piston converter, but it isn't. Piston converter would be really nice. This could hold a ton of ink which it doesn't, but it has a standard international converter. This is a uh, Waterman, Waterman inspired blue or Caribbean blue as it was used to be called. <coughs> yeah, converters are nice too. You don't have to use up a huge amount of ink until you, until you can, can refill the pen with another ink. and. Yeah, international international cartridges uh, can be used in the in this pen also. This is also cool. Okay, now um, I'm going to sketch today this pen with this pen, <laughs> and yeah, let's do it. Okay, first thing I realized is even if you you're you're doing a, a bad video, it takes some effort. And I don't, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the the video set up, um, so I, I, I put the DSLR on the Gorilla Pod and the Gorilla Pod on a cardboard box, and then the cardboard box next to me. And yeah, unfortunately, it was casting casting a shadow, and I didn't feel too comfortable with with that this setup. Also, what you probably have seen, I messed up the grip section at first, but this isn't and the, the nib I drew was a bit wonky but uh, that's not so bad because I'm I'm going over with a, a water water brush pen and do an ink wash and also the grip section will be black in a couple of minutes so all is fine <clears throat> sorry I still have that nasty cold I'm um, I have not gotten rid of it. The reason I, I'm going over the black parts, over the parts I'm I'm covering black with the water, uh, with the pencil brush pen, is 
if I'm going later over them with the Signo Uniball, they, they get a little blue tint. What I'm doing here is I uh, used a very cheap uh, water brush filled with diluted Indian ink to do the shadow. Now I'm coloring with my trusty Lamy All Star <coughs> and I'm using Sailor Document ink for that. I really like the, the mosaic pattern on this pen very, very much. And yeah, I think that that's what makes this pen stand out. A few more lines here and there, and I think I'm already done. And on to, on to the next one. A little bit of hatching for the shadow. And now I'm on with the brush pen. It has just the standard black ink cartridge it came with. And I really, I really like it very much. But you have to be a bit careful with it. Because the line variation can go from very thin to very thick with a little bit of pressure applied. Here I'm using a Signal Uniball in gold for the gold effects on the nip. I decided to include a little bit of detail. Now a little bit of white with the uni ball in white. I've used quite some gel pens and the, the broad uni ball performs nicely because um, they, they tend to dry out very quickly and then you have to scribble on a scrap piece of paper uh, to get the ink flowing again. And the broad single uniball doesn't dry up this fast than the medium or, or even uh, the jelly roll or the pilot juice. But, however, there's a downsize. It is uh, very, very fast used up. So, that's the final drawing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And maybe see you in another video soon. Bye.